Level 51. Survival difficulty, Class 4. Unsafe, unsecure, medium entity count. Level 51 is the 52nd level of the back rooms. Level 51 is an infinite marble maze of Greek origin. No pictures have been taken as cameras do not work here. Description. The maze's floor is lined with gold while the walls are marble with a Greek zigzag pattern on them. While in the maze you can find pottery, baskets, and candles lying around in corners and wine leaves and branches are covering the golden floors. There are also holes in the ceiling that can come in various shapes and sizes, and if climbed into you will be taken to level 10. Some holes will have black ooze dripping from them that will also take you to level 20. The only normal entities that are found in the level are special death rats that are white, gold, or purple in color. They seem to have a diet of old wine grapes and leaves that are found on the floor. Its color is theorized to be its way of being camouflaged with the walls and floors, but the purple is probably because of their strict grape diet that they have. They will also hide from the Minotaur that will also hunt you down. The Minotaur. This beast will roam around the maze. It has extreme hearing abilities and is way faster than an average human. The beast will usually eat the death rats it finds, probably by their camouflage, and will attack any being it contacts. So try not to make too much noise, as it can hear things from miles away. It is unknown if there are multiple minotaurs, as there have only been sightings with one minotaur, but it is possible to have multiple, as the maze itself goes on for hundreds or even thousands of miles. But if you've survived long enough, you will find the exit of the maze to the Lost City. The Lost City this city is an ancient temple site in a giant infinite cavern with an ancient village. The Minotaur will not enter this area and will turn back if you go to the exit. This city has old markets, houses, and temples with one large temple in the center. But be aware that entities such as skin stealers, hounds, death moths, and dullers will roam the village. There is another special entity that will roam around called Skeletos Polemistis, or as we call them, Skeleton Warriors. They will have spears with Greek armor, and if they are destroyed, they will put themselves back together over time. The center temple is completely safe and will have waterfalls running down the sides while the overgrowth of plants takes over the walls, and there will be a hall. Within this hall will be doorways with everyone labeled a different Greek symbol. They are as follows. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega, and Infinity. Most of these doorways are closed and cannot be opened, but doorways Alpha, Delta, Theta, and Infinity are opened which will lead to Level Alpha, Level Delta, Level Theta, and Level Infinity. It is also theorized that this is an ancient version of the hub because of the doorways leading to different levels. Bases, Outposts, and Communities The Villagers These people are the original villagers that lived in this area. Their population is about 243 people. They have managed to take over three districts of their village while the skeleton warriors roam the rest. Most are friendly and are up to trade, but most do not understand English. They prefer to stay in their village and they are afraid of their center temple and will not enter it. They say that their warmongering leader started too many wars and the gods put their land into the floor as this was translated. Entrances and Exits To enter, you must find some pottery in level 34 and drink any liquid from it. You will be knocked out and will wake up in the maze or find a rare Greek painting of a maze in level 29. To exit, enter one of the holes in the ceiling to go to level 10 or level 20. Or if in the center temple, enter one of the doorways to level alpha, level delta, level theta, or level infinity. Thank you.